am Batman. No, I am Batman. Does anybody like lobster? There can only be one true Highlander Batman. How about Money Suit Batman? Caveman Batman, he's the true Batman. How about Excalibur Batman? Get out of here, man bat. There's so many Batmans, guys. Uh, it's really hard to keep track of them all, but guess what, we've actually done it. In front of us here is every single Lego Batman minifigure ever made. So like always, we are gonna be going through this collection chronologically from when these minifigures were released, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth now. I also will be comparing how the prices may have changed from the last few years, updating from the previous video that I did on the Batman collection. So the collection totals 75 unique Batman minifigures. Technically, we're looking at 76 figs here, but I don't actually count one. We'll get to that when we get there. And anyways, let's jump right into the very first one starting back in 2006. He originally came out in the Batman Dragster Catwoman Pursuit plus two others. The detailing on him very similarly reflects that of Batman from the animated TV series and he sells for $18. The next version of Batman reflects that of what you saw from a lot of the Tim Burton films. He came out in a ton of sets, the first one being the Batmobile Two Faces Escape and his price has risen to 15 bucks. Next up is the first ever Bruce Wayne. He's in the dark blue suit. He appeared in the Batcave, the Penguin, and Mr. Freeze's Invasion set. He is a $16 fig, and by the way, there's a lot of really expensive Batman figs in this collection. This next guy is quite collectible, coming out in 2007. He's the first Batman with blue highlights. He first appeared in the Batcopter set, The Chase of the Scarecrow. He also was in the Bat Tank set, Riddler and Bane's Hideout. He has risen to 35 bucks, brand new. And then in 2008, this gray suit Batman looks a lot like the guy from Batman Begins. His first set was the Batman's Buggy, The Escape of Mr. Freeze. He also came out in two other sets. He has lowered down to $9. And then jumping up to 2011, we get the most rare and collectible of the Batman figs. And he's also probably on like the top 20 list for maybe rarest Lego minifigures ever. He is among the very first of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figs. And his bare minimum buy it now price on eBay is set to $800, but there are several vendors asking for even more than that. His detailing reflects that of what we saw from the Batman Begins, Christopher Nolan Batman, but a very similar design was somewhat repeated on a different guy just a little bit later down the line. Our next Batman came from the Catwoman Cat Cycle City Chase. He's a 2012 figure, and what makes him unique is the plastic blue, dark blue Batwing. For that, he is a $14 fig and then we get our second Bruce Wayne. He's in the sand blue suit. He's a 2012 fig as well. He came from the Batcave, the first of Batcave sets. He's 13 bucks. And then three orders of garlic chicken. I'm done. We are sticking with the blue highlighted Batman. This time he's just got a blue cape. First appearing in the Dynamic Duo Funhouse Escape set and one other. He is $15. And then interestingly enough in these same two sets we also a little bit later down in the year uh, got the first new version of the cowl so it's the same figure updated cowl for Batman and he is $12 this year was also the first of I think what is probably one of the more standard Batmans he appeared in the Batwing battle over Gotham City as well as the Batmobile and Two-Face chase set he's 10 bucks he's got a slightly different expression from this guy who came out in a ton of sets throughout 2012 2014 and 2017 he's very cheap being pretty much the most common Batman out there he is $5 and then if you take that same print and add on some black bat wings, you have the guy from the Arkham Asylum breakout set. He used to be 25 bucks, but this mold was recently uh, redone back in 2017, so his price has actually dropped down to 15 bucks, interestingly enough. And then we got the DC Universe Superheroes Batman Visual Dictionary Electro Suit Batman. That's what he came from, the, uh, the Visual Dictionary. He is $7. And then in 2013, we have the Arctic Batman versus Mr. Freeze Aquarium on Ice set. This Arctic Batman is probably one of the more unique of the older versions. He's 13 bucks. And then this Batman always kind of rubs me the wrong way. He came from the Bat versus Bane Tumblr Chase set and the detailing on his body is identical to 
that of the 2011 exclusive one from Comic-Con, though the colors just have changed a little bit. He is a $13 fig. And then the wonton soup. And then this is Scuba Batman from the Penguin Face Off set. He is nine bucks. And that was a guy from 2014. I really do still like the detailing for this figure. And this is probably maybe my least favorite Batman. He's known as Gray Hands Batman. The detailing form I just find a little bit off-putting. I'm not entirely sure what uh, type of Batman he's supposed to be emulating. He might be from one of the older movies. He came from the Riddler Chase set, though. He is a $6 fig. And then we have what I would consider maybe one of the most sought-after Batman figures out there. He came from the Ultimate Collector Series Tumblr set, which is an awesome set still. His detailing mimics that from what we saw in Batman Begins once again, or sorry, The Dark Knight, I should say. And right now, his Buy It Now price is $35 if you wanted him brand new on Bricklink. In this same year, we also got a brighter blue, blue suit Batman. I think this guy is a lot of fun. He looks a little bit more cartoony, reminds me a lot of the 1960s Batman. And he first appeared in Batman Defend the Batcave, which was a junior set, and he also appeared in a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set from 2014 as well. He's eight bucks, and then this is the first Batman from the Lego movie. He appeared in the press kit. He doesn't have a cape this time. He doesn't look like the one from the movie so much. He is seven bucks though. In 2014, had one other Batman that also came from San Diego Comic-Con. He's by far the most rare and exclusive from this year, and I think second most out of all the collection. This is Batman Zur NR. He's an extremely colorful character. He came with a baseball bat. Really, really fun guy to have. He used to be 225 bucks, I think, the last time we reported on him. Now he is no less than $400. And a few years ago, I had the silly notion of thinking that he was going to be the most colorful Batman figure ever made. Boy was I wrong. Now we're jumping up to the year 2015 with the Green Lantern versus Sinestro Batman, or sorry, the Space Batman. That was the set he came out in. He's 13 bucks and I really like him. He's got some unique vinyl uh, wing pieces with some great detailing. And then we get three very similar Batmans back to back. Their bodies are pretty much all the same with just different heads and different legs. This first one came from the Black Manta Deep Sea Strike set. He is $7. The second one has dual molded legs and a tan face he came from the Joker Land set, also seven bucks. And the last one is super, super, super common. Coming out first in the Gorilla Grodd Goes Bananas set, as well as six others. He is a $3 fig, being the cheapest of the Batmans just about. And then here is what I would consider the original Batman from the Lego movie. He appeared in Batman vs. Super Angry Kitty Attack. He is seven bucks, and he's got those unique, funny facial expressions. And then... And then... This Batman is almost exactly the same as the ones I was just showing you, but uh, he's got a different expression. He appeared in the starter pack for the LEGO Dimensions game. He's three bucks and finishing off 2015 with a really fun one, we get Bat Zaro. I love the upside down detailing for the belt and the insignia on his chest. He appeared in a lot of different DVDs, first being the Justice League versus Bizarro Justice League DVD. He's still pretty accessible being $10. And then let's jump up to 2015 with one of my favorite favorite Lego Batmans out there. This is from the Clash of Heroes set, and this armored Batman has a glow-in-the-dark head, which I absolutely love. He's seven bucks. And then also with detailing from the later uh, DC movies, this Batman has a much larger insignia on his chest, dual molded legs, and he came out first in the Kryptonite Interceptor set, plus one other. He is $5. And finally, we get to one of my personal favorite Batmans of all time. This is the Batman from the classic TV series Batcave. Since the last time we made an update video for these guys. Adam West, the original actor for this Batman, was still with us, but he has since passed. So rest in peace, Adam. You brought a very strange yet quite wholesome version of the Batman to the screens. He is roughly $20 if you want this minifigure brand new on Bricklink. This is the Bruce Wayne version of him that came from the same set, being seven bucks. And then that's it. And then we get some kind of unique Batman characters. This guy also being a 2016 release appeared in the Batman and a scarecrow harvester of fear so he's got a gas mask and these weird sort of poison like highlights he's an eight dollar fig i like him a lot and then we get the desert suit batman from the rescue of rachel ghoul he is nine dollars and yes 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 i am counting mighty micros as official batman figures this is the first batman mighty micro coming out in the batman versus catwoman set he's four
four bucks and then and then we get a very interesting Batman. This is Pirate Batman. He basically has detailing from this weird 90s Pirate Batman toy. As far as I can tell, he appeared in the DC comic superheroes character encyclopedia and sells for 10 bucks. Now, if you thought that character was weird, 2017 is really where Batman kind of goes out of control because there was the Lego Batman movie released. So this is one version of kind of the standard Batman. He first appeared in the Joker balloon escape as well as five others. He's two bucks being the cheapest out there and then this is another version of the batman also appearing first in mr freeze's ice attack he's just got different expressions and he appeared in i think seven or eight other sets he's also two bucks and then and then this is the other guy he's just got a different set of expressions first appearing in the riddler riddle racer set and i think seven or eight others as well he's two bucks these guys are by far the most common versions of batman and they reflect the older one that i mentioned earlier though this time he has a utility belt piece here are some bat suits that were from the bat cave break-in this is the scuba bat suit this is a four dollar fig and then we get the raging bat suit as in raging bull the boxing batman bat suit this is also from the same set six bucks and then also the last one is the bat pack bat suit as in the rat pack bat suit it's very gold and highlighty i like this one a lot especially that bow tie detailing is wonderful it is a seven dollar figure and then we get the white tuxedo bruce wayne with a little bow tie piece this time around he's nine bucks and like i mentioned earlier this is the re-release of that black wing mold piece from before he came out in the scarecrow fearful face off set this batman is four dollars and then here's another common batman just a slightly different set of expressions he only came out in two sets the first one being the two face double demolition he's four bucks as well because the lego batman movie is the lego batman movie we got another version of a disco batman because that's what we needed this is the guy that we saw at the end credit scene i actually think this one even looks a little bit better than the last he came out in the Joker Manor set, which was a really big expensive set. He is a $30 fig to get now. So the collectability of that set was definitely a good investment if that's what you picked up about a year ago. Then the next DC movie came out and we have a Batman from the Nightcrawler Tunnel Attack set. The detailing is somewhat similar from the last time we checked out a DC movie. This is a $6 fig. And then oh, I'm done. this guy I think is a little bit cooler. He came from the Flying Fox Batmobile Airlift Attack set, also from from the Justice League movie. Just cooler detailing for the legs and torso in my opinion. He is 14 bucks. And then, and then these two guys were kind of unique. They came from one single poly bag being the Tears of a Batman poly bag. That is the clown Batman that you see. That's his official name. He's got some interesting uh, prints there. I believe the patchwork for the legs is actually from a different figure. And then I misspoke before because this is in fact the second disco Batman being the roller disco Batman. Batman coming with those skates on the bottom. Both are seven bucks. Tiger Tuxedo Batman is up next, also coming from a Batman Battle Pod poly bag, a little bit different from a regular one. He's eight dollars, and then fortune cookies, and that's it. And then... For some reason, I don't know why I like this guy so much, but we have Excalibat or Excalibur Batman from a Dimensions Fun Pack. He's just four bucks, but I think he looks really cool with the armor and the big sword. I just like him a lot. And then we get our second of the Mighty Micros Batmans. This time he's got the blue highlights. He came from the Batman vs. Killer Moth set. He's three bucks. And then... And then... No, and then! No end end. End, end. No end end. End, end. No end end. No end end. No end end. Here we have some unique guys that came from the Bricktober minifigure Toys R Us exclusive pack from 2017. This first one is the Easter Bunny Batman. Looks a lot like that larger clock Batman minifigure thing that we got before. Then there's Money Suit Batman, the Baturion. He's kind of like Spartan Batman. He got some really cool accessories, I think. Being the most expensive, actually, he's 12 bucks. And then this is Wizbat, or the Wizard Batman. Very strange, interesting, unique characters, but uh, I mean, let's see what we get into with the collectible Batman minifigure series. With all of the dual molding and printing kind of all over these guys, I'd say they're probably the most highly detailed of the Batman figs. So this is Lobster Lovin' Batman. He comes in a smoking jacket with a lobster and a plate for eating him. He is three bucks. Glam Metal Batman, basically looking like somebody from Kiss. Awesome print on the cowl. He's four bucks. This is Fairy Batman 
great detailing here. Once again, lots of good dual molding for this character. Also, four bucks. And then we've got Clan of a Batman. He is the caveman Batman. I mean, look at look at the stone on his necklace. It's ridiculous. He is a three dollar figure. And we've got Vacation Batman with little bat symbols all over his funny little wetsuit. Also four bucks. And now let's jump out of the collectible series with Tartan Batman. He's basically like a Scottish warrior Batman, or some people say Highlander Batman. He appeared in the Chaos in Gotham City uh, comic story activity book. Anyways, I think he's kind of interesting compared to some of the other ones, even though at this point things have sort of gone off the rails. For Batman detailing, he is four dollars. And then this is the 76th Batman that I don't really count in the final count. I would say 75 as a total. This is the Kiss Kiss Tuxedo Batman that only exists as a keychain. I've modified this one just because, I mean, he's a unique looking Batman minifigure. And I think we've got one that's still in the bag with the keychain attached to his head. I'd say he's around 10 to $15. I'm not totally sure what his final price is now. And then we finally finished off 2017. A ton of figs came out for that year. And the same goes for 2018. Here are some bat suits where technically he's not in them, but it counts because they're pretty much minifigures. This is the Firestarter Batman appearing in the Bat Space Shuttle. He's nine bucks, also from the same set. This is the Reggae Man Bat Suit what Robin's original uh, clothing sort of came from. That is a $9 figure. And then we get the space bat suit, which is uh, kind of in next iteration of what we did see from quite a while back, though this time he's got a piece that looks a lot more like an actual spaceman, like an actual astronaut. This is a $14 fig. I really do like that sort of gold outer exterior matching up with the rest of the detailing on this guy. And then probably one of my least favorite bits of detailing for a Batman minifigure came from the Lex Luthor or mech takedown set. This guy is, I don't know, I just kind of find him boring. He's five bucks. And then we jump up to another personal favorite of mine. I don't know if you can tell, but I just really like the armored Batman figures. I also think the face print for this guy is great. He came out in the Batman Attack of the Talons set. He is $10. And here is another boring detailing Batman like I just showed you before. This time he's got a cape and he came out in the Batman Brother Eye Takedown set. He's nine bucks. And I don't know if you can tell, I am just rushing through, or I'm trying to rush through a lot of these figures. This is the Batman from the app-controlled Batmobile set. I don't know what his final price is because uh, it's a pretty recent set, but it was a very expensive one, so you can't expect him to probably be around 15 bucks-ish. I don't know, that's just me estimating right now. And here is the Nightmare Batman from the Nightmare Batman accessory set. There was a few other things included here, a couple other figs, but right now he's roughly selling for what the original price is. He's about a $15 fig. Wonderful, wonderful detailing on him. I love the goggle print that's on the cowl. And let's jump through the last guys real quick. Here's a Batman from another junior set, the Joker Batcave Attack. This is a $5 fig. The detailing looks pretty standard, actually. I can't really tell what's different. It's probably just an expression on his face. And then this is the last of the Mighty Micros Batman. He came from Batman versus Harley Quinn. That's a $4 fig. And we have the Mermaid Batman from the the collectible minifigure series. He's four bucks. The swimsuit Batman from the collectible minifigure series. Why do I feel like that's out of order? It doesn't really matter. He's also four bucks or maybe five bucks really. And then the latest and last Batman to come in this collection is from the DC Superheroes Visual Dictionary. This is Yellow Lantern Batman. Uh, the body is very similar to what we got from actual Yellow Lantern with very slight differences, but he does have a unique face and uh, I don't know what he is. He's probably going to be a around 10 bucks like a lot of those unique characters to come from visual dictionaries or books. <laughs> So with that, we just went through 75, or sorry, 76 Batman minifigures, and that is the complete history and anthology of this character in LEGO. If I didn't say it before, there are no other LEGO minifigures with this many different iterations. There's no other single characters that have this many different iterations, and I doubt there ever will be. Second up is Robin, just sort of by uh, default, and there's only half as many Robins as there are Batmans to give you guys a perspective of just how much Lego 
has focused on this one character. It kind of makes sense. Everybody loves Batman. And anyways, I would like to know which one you think is your favorite. And I'd also like to know what kind of Batman you maybe would want to see Lego make in the future. Anything is pretty much a possibility. Personally, I'd like to see a Scottish Batman with bagpipes, but who knows, sky's the limit. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe and let me know what type of collection video you want to see us do in the future. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey everybody, wanted to pop in really quick, let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. It's definitely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that create these amazing Lego builds. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Remember, that's www.brickvault.toys, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.